Hello and welcome, this is Instatoris and I'm starting to play Martha is Dead. This was released on February 2022 20, and um, I don't know much about this game. I do know this is a psychological horror thrillers, thriller set in Italy, in, I think it was 1944, so it's uh, uh, late stages of World War II and uh, uh, I, if I remember, yeah, and uh, one thing to say that uh, this is definitely for uh, mature audiences, adult audiences, so I, uh, if you are, uh, if you don't uh, want to see mutilated corpses, uh, self-harm or something like that, I think it was in the Steam pages, then this is probably something you don't want to watch. Um, I was going to use the original Italian language, and that would definitely be a better option, but uh, of course because this is uh, uh, something that uh, people may want to uh, watch while it's on the on the background or something like that, then I, I'll use the English language. Anyways, I think there's nothing else to go then start the game. Again, I have no idea. Okay, the story of Martha is dead and its featured characters are work of fiction and the game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for adult audience and carries appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who may find depiction of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies and self-harm disturbing. So, yes, again, uh, if some of these things seem that it's not your cup of tea, then definitely I would recommend it not to watch. And if you or someone you know is struggling, information and crisis resources are available. And, well, I don't know if this is uh, global. I think it might be. But, of course, there are uh, local helps to find also. Okay, let's continue. Hmm. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929 when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Nanny, will you tell me the story of the White Lady? No, little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady, I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother. 
So do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes. I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. She was expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire, but death not love, was awaiting her. Oh, there are choices there, okay. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So, he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long-lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. I'm a little scared of this story, even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading, my little sparrow? No, Nanny. Daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Go ahead. Okay, honey. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Good night, Nanny. Good night. Good night, my love. Interesting story. I do enjoy horror stories when I was a child. But I do enjoy the horror stories even I today. I spent almost three years with the Nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. New chapter to lake. Um, we have cameras. 
Oh, there. Uh, I need to set those um, a little bit lower. It's way too. I think that is. Or. Okay. Uh, did it do anything? I'll take it a little bit further. I don't think this is a um, game where you need to have fast reactions. At least I do hope so. That there is no need for that. Okay, yeah. So what I, I need to interact with this camera apparently. Reel off the film. Okay. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. And insert a new one. That is, I think. Put the new film in. Okay. Close the camera. Load the film. That would help. Activate the timer. Selfie time. Well, not really. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Okay, use mouse to move lens. Ah. It... <laughs> what? Is that a person? I must help them. <laughs> I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. Was that a real person or... Okay, this is... It's W to swim. I'm waiting for the... inevitable jump scares. I like the distortion with the sound. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister. My twin, a part of me. Dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Well, that... I have to stay calm. That would help. Yes. Uh... Martha is not dead. It's not possible. Okay, we need it's to check. It's not true. The weird thing is, we There's never... There's no need to worry. Everything is fine. As I was saying at the start... Everything will be fine. We were talking about... Our sister, who wasn't there. And now she's here. Martha is not dead. Dead. 
It's not possible. Martha, February 26th, 1923. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? The question is, well, it seems that this might be our imagination. What are you doing? Go, Eric, run! My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life. The pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade, so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha forever. Interesting. Chapter the body one day after Martha's death. Oh, what happened there? Somebody's sitting there on the left of us, left of us. Oh, Lord, who gives life to the dying. Let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Erich, did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. Okay, highlight the hints can be disabled within the game. Let's close. And uh, space highlights. Okay. We have quite a lot of things to check around. Can I. Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. Hmm. Lots and lots of books. Good. Quite dark. I don't know if this is too dark. Mummy and Daddy. They are the epitome of wealth and elegance. But pain pays no heed to money and style. Okay. Bit gloomy, I guess we are. This painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. Interesting style, I have to say. The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. Hmm. So either... So we are identical twins, but... Um... Some part of me says that Maybe there are no twins. Who knows? Again, I have no idea. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. Can I check them again? But they seem a bit scary, I have to say. Before we go, I want to check the room. Yes. Oh. Looks like she has a bump in her head. What the hell? The moment I thought I saw... Oh, no, that's not possible. 
It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. Yeah, bruises on her face. That really doesn't bode well. Okay, what do we have here? And um, telegraphs. So we have German stuff in here. A telegraph box. I know how to use it. Daddy taught me. Okay, telephone. There's no reason to use the phone right now. No, there is not. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. And the, yeah, the body definitely seemed like a woman in white. Lady in white, I mean. July 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. Okay. Uh, oh. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. Monsignor Attilio D. July 17th, 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss, and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. Quite a lot of condolen condolences. And radio. I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. Okay. That sounds sort of familiar. Anything else? Come on. A little bit more. North Europa, Malmo Oriente, Inglaterra, Germania, Francia. Oh, Helsinki. Tallinn, Katowice. I was half waiting that she would be sitting there, but uh, <laughs> good thing she wasn't. What do we have here? Oh, I forget I need to press long. A lighter. Okay. What do I do with this now? Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Hmm. Daddy, mummy and my grandparents. It seems almost impossible that father is a soldier. Mother would have been more suitable if she wasn't a woman. Interesting. Oh, I can light the candles, but let's check their guns first. These hunting rifles are not daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Hmm. Interesting. So he wasn't a hunter and... Not apparently a soldier either. Let's light the candles. I'm guessing this game will be a 
very slow paced. The atmosphere is definitely nice. When you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this. She can't sit still for a second. No. So let's see what we can check around here. We have an axe. Collect the flowers from mother before she gets angry. You mean these? We will collect these, but I'll check the bicycle first. I don't need that right now. Okay. I think it was a the pump. Okay. Okay. When mummy asks for something, there's no escaping it. Okay, we need the flowers. Before mummy gets angry, we don't want to have mummy angry. Okay. Everything always has to be perfect with her. Yeah, I know the feeling. I think I've checked everything in here, so... Hmm. Okay, we are setting it here. Close the door. Right. Should I be worried? Somebody. Erich. Erich, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all places. What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. Well, you did fall asleep. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. Well, 
American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley. We have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Interesting. My Mother cook. didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Okay. I have no idea what I'm s Okay, that was the wrong way. Um, that was re weird. He said, my crazy girl. Oh, I need to find a correct word. Marta has lost my... Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Not my. Her. Ah. Life. No, soul it is. I was tempted to take the soul, but uh, this is interesting game mechanic. Soul it is. Identity. I stole her identity. I stole her identity. I stole her identity. I stole her identity. Now that's a lot of blood. I stole her identity. 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 Okay, this is probably going to be quite gruesome. Okay, I see what we are doing now. Um, right. We are literally taking her face off.
Right. This is definitely a creepy game, I have to say. The music and the sound works are definitely working great together. Making this a uh, feel disturbing. It was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This reminds me of one of the horror movies I have and I have seen. I think it's a tale of two sisters. A little Red Riding Hood. And some other tales I can't remember. But yeah. This definitely feels like the Tale of Two Sisters. This is Martha and me at the Festival of the Patron Saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? So we are capturing a soul. Right. Um, what else? Okay, let's check that. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Yeah, the movie I was referencing is uh, A Tale of Two Sisters. It was uh, 2003, released in 2003. It's a South Korean psychological horror drama film. Definitely, if you can watch it, get it. I recommend it. And also, uh, while we're playing this, I definitely recommend you do the same as I'm doing right now. Every light's off. Room is um, dark and I have my headphones. This is so great. Um, I notice I'm quite silent at the times now, but um, I feel like this game, you don't want to go blab around all the time but fortunately there are areas where you can talk and that's a lovely picture let's see our beautiful home in spite of everything i prefer being here yeah i believe that uh let's check these martha oh martha's clothes to me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could mm. wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Could I? Could I actually? Huh. Huh. Can I be Martha without her clothes? Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. I could wear Martha's clothes instead, in the other wardrobe. Hmm. That is an interesting idea. Do I use Martha's clothes or not? Let's see what kind of clothes we have. We have this uh, darker shirt, white shirt, and uh, small polka dots, I think. And what do we have here? Stripes. Darker shirt and uh, green. I'll get this. The elegant dress. No, I'll never hear the end of it from Mother. Oh, it's an elegant dress, okay. Um, hmm. 
now I'm tempted to... S so I'm guessing this is elegant dress also. Well, okay, I'll take this. Okay. More picture. Pi Even more scary fairy tales. Yes. Fairy tales were proper scary tales. It's there on the floor. I can't really make it up. Um, little makeup table. Apparently 18th. Another makeup table, obviously, because yes, of course. Picture. Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. I would say that will be a quite awkward. I always keep my trinket box locked. Okay, can we get the key somewhere? So what do we have here then? This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Hmm. So we need to open that too. Okay, uh, let's check the date, just because. It's July 18th. Yes. It's about half past nine. That is correct. Here's the whole family together. A very rare thing indeed. Again, I'm getting so many flashbacks of the A Tale of Two Sisters. Um, Nanny will be visiting me soon. Will she? A dark. We're in trouble. I still like to have the books and games from when I was little with me. Mm, there's nothing wrong with that. Butterflies. The butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. Well, lovely butterfly collection. So, I don't think there's anything... So we don't get any, get any hints where the key might be. What are my buttons? Can I actually... Camera shortcut, bag, map... Oh, we have a map and bag? Okay. Let's see. Well, not l not at the moment, at least. Fine. Uh, I'm guessing we are checking this then. Everything I need is always in my bag. Right. You have opened Julia's bag. Here you can find object that Julia always carries with her along with any picked up during the game. So we have a map and we have a key. Object are listed at the bottom left. Selection of object use. Select an object to use or analyze it. Now try selecting key or the map. The key to my trinket box. <sighs> yes, and the map. We are here. We do have different... We have objectives. I must put one of my photos in this empty frame. I always said to Marta I would, but never did. She would have liked it so much. Requirements. A ca camera. Album. You have no photos in the album yet. Log. Okay. So, let's go and open the trinket box. Do we use automatically the key? Apparently we do. I'm gonna check if I can. That can I use this? Here is my diary. Okay. 
July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Okay. Um. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. So, we don't have anything else. These are little disturbing pictures. Uh, they are very talented, but still, there's something quite off with them. Um, can I take... Yes, Huey. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? But I... What did you say? Hmm. Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. This is not the right key. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. Yeah, I was... Uh, hmm. That would have been interesting. Can I open this? Yes, I can. I'm already dressed. Okay, you're dressed. So, is the key somewhere here? Or do I need to get it somewhere? Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. Probably I need to get it. So our key didn't open that. Um, can we check anything on here? Mm, we. It's me with the nanny. Well, maybe it was Martha. No one can remember. Hmm. Okay, let's leave then. That's locked, obviously, and more drawings. Okay. Current objective is K. Take camera. I like to always have my camera with me when you least expect it. The camera with me when you least expect it. The opportunity for the perfect shot presents itself. I know the feeling. We need to get the camera so we can do get the photo for the frame. Uh, but before that, how wonderful the snow is! Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. More little paintings. What do we have? Ooh, town hall, asylum, Don Attilio, Doctor Carabinieri. Okay. Oh, numbers. There's no shortage of paintings in our house. Mum is passionate about painting. So it would seem. Dad loves these prints of Florence. 
I find them a bit sad. Don't so. Firenze Romana. The construction of the Atlantic Strada corresponds to all the Via de Tosigni. No reconstruction of ancient street. Can I check this? Medievale Prospetto di Case o Palazzi. What? Edificati al Principio. Okay. My Italian is quite rusty. But, uh, yeah. Sift to run. Let's check. Okay. That works. Piazza, Piazza della Signoria. Ah, more Firenze. Been there. Ah, lovely place. Okay. Julia? As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. Interesting. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? That is a good question. Well, that is an obvious... Okay, can I try to open this? No. Okay, let's go. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Julia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Okay, so... We are taking the camera, so we... The one that my father left on the table could work well, yes. The newspaper. Martha always read the newspaper. I have to do the same as her, so no one will get suspicious. Read newspaper dated 18th July. It might be on the table. Okay. During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? <laughs> that is a possibility when you snuggle up next to the fire. What do we have here? Mummy's family coat of arms. Interesting coat of arms. Let's check the paper first. Unione del Popolo. Come on. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. Uh, firm bulwark even in the skies. Firm bulwark even in the skies. 
159 aircraft of the Germanic defence shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Okay. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Uh, let's check this too. Julia Kay. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. And first improvements in food registration. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. Um, I think that's it for the newspaper. So let's. What is this? Is this food? Chocolate. Ah. A privilege for few people in these times. Chocolate. Can I take it? Apparently not. But let's take the camera. Uh, by the way, is there food? Yes. Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I will have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. Hmm. Coffee. But let's take the camera. For Julia. To take more and more photos. Dad. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Okay. Uh, yes, we will try the camera. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. In a moment, I want to check the rooms first before we go outside. I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. Okay, that's good. Cozy little kitchen, I must say. Can't do anything at the moment, at least. More... Pictures, come on. Dante's Inferno illustrated by Dore. Always hanging cheery things. <laughs> Indeed. Cheery pictures. Okay, what do we have? At least the bust is not following us like in internal darkness. War. Always war. Even in paintings. But there is still time. Uh... One of Daddy's many photos. Who knows who these other people are? And masks. These masks. I remember them vividly. I always try to escape their gaze. Okay. More. Old photographs that Father took of this house. Definitely lovely photographs. Do I we want... are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Well, we are lucky indeed. Why I'm going to sell her, I have no idea. Okay. Great. I hope that's wine. Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. And scissors. Do we need them? 
these could be of use to me. I'm a little worried. Mummy's sewing machine. She learnt how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Miss that. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Pervitin. Ooh. I guess they will speed her up. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of grey cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Your guess is good as mine. And what? Obviously a dark room where we need to make our photos. I don't like wine all that much, but I go crazy for our dessert wine. It is very sweet. I never drink wine. Where? What the hell? Okay, this is quite dark. I don't know if this is a good idea. These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. Hmm. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. Okay. So there's a tripod. We probably need to get that at some point. I'm guessing we are taking a picture in here. What do we... Uh, what is this? A uh, huge... When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. Well, it seems quite huge. I guess you could still live in there. Again, this is quite dark. Oh, I forgot. I can run. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. Okay, so let's check this first. Lupex. Letters. Okay. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. That is correct. I would say, if I remember correctly, I have made black and white pictures. Those are much easier than color ones. Before I can use the enlarger, I should take a photo. Yes. Daddy had this device brought here last week. It's old, but still works. He has always loved everything technological. Magnetophone, okay. Well, I guess we need to go and take the pictures. I do hope that's why not blood. It looks a bit sticky if I'm completely honest. So juicy. But let's check the rest of the building. Mouse traps. Oh, right. Bonsi. On the day of St. Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. Our Lady of Carmel, a company of the Falchium Regiment, counterattacked yesterday, forcing the French to retreat to Piazza del Mercato. 
The situation is currently under control. Okay. Good to know. So can I steal the bicycle pump and bikes? Boy. Riding bikes around here is beautiful. These are mummy and daddy's bikes though. Mine is outside. Do I need to pump? I don't need that right now. Not right now. That means we need it later. Ooh, lovely looking. Okay, let's go and take some pictures of birds. Oh, wait, what is this? Florence, July 15th, 1944. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. Just a small typo there. The A should have been E. But yeah, the magnetophone is probably the thing which is kept hidden. I would say. Okay, where are the baits? Oh. Nice looking area. Let's see a little bit of surroundings. Ooh, everything is so green. Ooh, cows. And calf. Yes, very nice looking. Right, where are the birds? Ah, there they are. And there's my boy. Julie's bike can be used to get locations faster, that's good. My bike, the wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. Hmm. So we know where the bicycle pump is. We don't need that at the moment. I'll just check the surroundings before we take the picture. What? This is interesting looking building. Can I enter? No, no I cannot. Anything? No. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go take some pictures of birds. Uh, probably... Well, I'll continue a little bit. Oh, sorry, not yet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My frames dropped way down. I think that was something. Now they're back. Well, I think there was, might have been a, some kind of a loading area. Nope, I was wrong. They dropped again. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen too much. I'll try to keep this as steady as I can. So, let's see how we take the pictures of the birds. Hopefully we don't see any more bodies at the moment. Uh, how do I do this? Um, do I take my, oh, that's my back, there's the camera. You're about to use Julia's camera, it's 1940 Rolex cord with 120 millimeter film. You'll use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will proce progress the game's story. While holding the camera, an icon will appear to indicate points of photographic interest. This icon will appear and become clearer the closer you are. Oh, I have to walk around with my camera then. Press E to see your camera and any fitted attachments. No camera skin unlocked. Look for the subject you want to photograph and press 
left button to continue or continue press Q to exit camera mode. Okay. You are about to take your first picture. To simplify the simulation, the picture preview displays the settings and as you change them on your camera. In real life, the viewfinder's image image is controlled by the secondary lens and only responds to focus. Uh, prepare your first picture. If you stand still, you'll be able to find to the camera rotation, pitch and height. Height is R and R. Okay. And uh, Q and E inclination. Okay. Subject framed out of focus properly ex properly exposed. Okay. Um open the advanced setting panel to make a picture unique. Use the panel controls to adjust focus, exposure and aperture. Um, ah, here you'll find the camera's add-ons. You'll be able to use different lenses, filters, films of various sensitivities, and much more. Right now, however, you only have 100 ISO film. Press Ctrl to close the panel. After closing the, this window, adjust the camera and press space to shoot. But I don't want to do that just yet. Or I had hoped. Okay. Can I do something with this? A little bit down the exposure. Okay, it is telling when it's focused. Okay, that's good. Properly expo exposed. What happens if I do it like this? It's telling it's okay. Really? Too bright. Yes, indeed it is. So let's start with that. Congratulations, you have taken your first photo. You can shoot as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember that only few will be critical to the story progress. Soon you will learn how to develop photos you've taken. Excellent. Keep... I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Can I? I'll take another if I can, because it's close. Because I think I just... Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Okay. And close. So if I'm walking with my camera out, let's see. I might see things I can shoot if I well. Let's check if there's something behind here. There's somewhere I could go, but I don't want to go there yet. So what is my main objective at this moment? Um, e, oops. Oh, right. They observe the camera. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, Hmm. Okay, let's put 
the camera back in the back and see what we need to do. Um, Mata has already read. Yes, additional info. My, it might be on the table. I read the newspaper. Yes, the bicycle. I need to find a pump. Uh, try the camera. And develop the print of photo in the dark room in the cellar. Yes, I know where it is. So we are going to do that. Um. I think I'll end this episode soonish, but I do go and make the pic uh, make the picture. But one thing I want to see if I can do is do I want to do this? Yes, we need to develop the photos. So let's go to the cellar and develop a few photos. And after that, I probably end this episode. I know I'm working quite slowly, but I feel this game is more about the journey and uh, not about the speed. Anyways, I digress. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Uh, to develop photo, you'll first have to use the enlarger. To the enlarger is optical instrument that allows you to process photographic paper. Yes. After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. This aspect has been omitted for the sake of simplicity, but in reality, the steps are as follows: the film is first rolled on a reel and put inside a small tank. The tank is then immersed in the developer, washed, and then immersed in a stop bath. It is then washed again, dried and finally cut. You'll find your rolls of film already developed and ready for printing. Choose the image you want to print on to the paper. The preview on the left side will help you choose. Of course, you will see your images in negative. So what do we have here? We have obviously this and a bead. Bird's bottom. I'll develop this photo what is this nothing obviously so let's develop this bird the enlarger allows you to customize your photos even more you can choose on which part of the paper the picture will be printed you can adjust the focus and choose how long to expose the photographic paper with the red filter you can project and see the image on paper without exposing it use the control to move paper on the bench and we adjust the magnification and focus. Okay. When the three circles are aligned, the picture is focused. If you still see the image out of focus when aligned, you probably shot it that way. Uh, play with the adjustments until you're happy. When you're ready, press space to continue. Okay. Where's the bird? There's the bird. Ah. Okay, okay, I can see now. Wait a minute. Okay. So, yeah, we can zoom in or zoom out. And then, of course, we need to... Yeah, but let's take a... Mm, how do I want to settle this? Uh... 
that one. Republic. I'll make it so. So now everything should be okay, and I just press space. I can't develop the photo like this. I can't develop the photo like this. Wait, what? Oh, uh, so I need to have it like so. Come on. When the red filter is removed, the image is exposed under the paper. This process has been automated and made faster than what happens in real life. Emails the paper, the developer, and image will appear. To achieve ideal exposure, take the paper out of the developer when the timer is in the green zone. If you take the paper out too early or too late, the picture will be ruined and you'll have to print it again. Okay. Fortunately, it's not too fast. In real life, immersion in the developer is followed by a wash, uh, a wash, a stop bath, and then second wash. These ad additional parts have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. Okay, here's your printed photo. You can keep it in your album or scrap it. You can print each shot, shot as many times as you like. All shots remain available to print at any time. Okay. Mm, it's a decent picture. I'll put it in the album. Yes. So, what now? Okay, what do I do now? Back. Scissors. Do I just... Oh. I'm gonna um, do another picture that of my sister. Okay, develop this photo. Morbid. And is it a little bit faster than the last time? Probably not. And we're done. And let's put it in the album. So I guess we are leaving then. Okay, what now? Uh, develop and print the photo in the dark room in the cellar. I've done that. So, what else? Hmm. Come on. Uh, my new camera, let's see how it works. We have... Okay, we can enlarge uh, exposure, exposure time, okay. Um, back Try 
try the camera, but uh, I don't know. What do I need to do now? What am I missing here? I've already done a picture. Okay, let. Do I need to make the picture out of the. Uh, do I have to make the picture uh, that I took first? I think I need to do. The one where the. where we photograph birds. Bottom. So I'm guessing we need to do that because that's the. Yeah. So it doesn't count when I'm doing the other pictures. It has to be probably this one. I know I could skip these. Maybe if I took more pictures, quite a lot of pictures, then maybe then I skip it. But not at the moment, okay. And we're almost done, yes. No. Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Okay, let's do that. Um. So yeah, uh, my bad was that I needed to do the picture I took first. I'm guessing we are taking the picture right here. Let's do that. This seems camera is set up with the self timer. Good. Now I just sit here and take a picture. Easy as pie. Start timer. Selfie time. Now, I'm a little worried what else we have in the picture. Uh, do we take the camera? No. Uh, frame picture, develop a photo. Okay. Why can't we take the camera with us but yeah I'm I'm almost certain that we are not alone in that picture it's always a thrill to develop a photo yes it you is you can't see anything at first yet something invisible is captured on the black film a kind of ghost that invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. I already did that. Right. 
should be interesting. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Well, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I was so certain that there would be somebody with us in the picture. Uh, well, you can't have everything. I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Of course the door is locked. If the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. The rolls, the same day, 11.30 p.m. Where are we? The lighter can be accessed from Julia's back when it's not in use. Okay, this works a little bit odd. Uh, let's see, B. Do we have in here? July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's. My sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake and now it's too late. If they find out I have been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha. Pretending to be death. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now, and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone, and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. The partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend, and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. Okay, uh, I think this is... yeah, okay. Uh, this is the second time I... If I understood correctly, when the nanny... When we were at the nanny, uh, what, what was it, 1929 or something like that, there was that time when Julia don't have any recollections, if I understood correctly. And again, she has uh, holes in her mind. And well, we will see how that works, this story. But it's night time. Uh, we need to get the pump and probably take a picture of our sister again i don't know uh because we can't go out from here anyways that is for the next episode now i'm feeling quite tired and this is the best part to go to sleep after playing this
That would be no that will be fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.